Yeah, good morning, guys. Manhattan to our friends in the Philippines. Up on the screen, guys, is a foreigner farming in the Philippines. That uh, channel name should be changed because he was absolutely humiliated uh, in a recent video. Um, the instructors, the agricultural instructors, uh, came to visit and tour the Bohovel shithole farm. And boy, did Boss Hog have to eat some humble pie. We're going to be showing you a few, um, quite a few clips, guys. And uh, very, <laughs> it's very revealing. Boss Hog told us all he's a farmer. He knows he's the big whale, the big noise hole. And it actually turns out that he knows nothing. Uh, these instructors uh, toured the Bohovel and at the end of the tour, of course, Bossog got his camera out and started uh, his alpha male video. And he's asking questions of the instructors and the interns. And what they said, guys, was quite surprising. So, um, I'll play the clips, uh, the clips, guys, and then we'll come back. Uh, but I wanted to uh, try to make a bit of a serious video here as well, because it's uh, there's some a lot of information uh, that these gentlemen have shared. Now I'm going to pan around here and let each of these guys introduce themselves. Uh, your name, sir? Mike. Bart? Mike. And you're, these, these guys are all from, uh, Ray and Britzell are here, and uh, these guys are all from the Taliban Technical College? Technical College. Technical College. Oh. I want to get it right. Uh, and your position there, sir? Uh, instructor. Instructor. And your name, sir? Cyrid. Cyrid? And your position at the college? Instructor. Instructor. So these are the these are the teachers. Yeah, guys. So uh, in that first clip, introductions over. Um, listen how Bossog accepts the advice and uh, acts like an alpha male. Um, I, I don't want to accept it, but I will kind of accept it. Um, listen to the humiliation he has to go through from these. Young gentlemen, young gentlemen, instructors, Filipino farmers who know what they're talking about. Um, we've just done a, a complete tour of the farm here. And uh, I've really been asking these gentlemen, and they have been very helpful, very helpful with me, uh, with some suggestions on uh, things that I can do to improve uh, what we've got going on here. And uh, they suggested uh, some, well, look, we all know that those bottom fields need the furrows and um, uh, the valleys and furrows in them. That, that goes without saying. And we're, we're, we're working on that. Uh, there's some, some technical aspects, uh, which I knew that uh, we probably needed to do. Some that I was aware of, some that I was not. I think the most important being, look, I, I we attempted to, to do the organic matter with the, the rice hulls, and that has, there has been some progress on that. Uh, they have suggested that I find some chicken manure, uh, composted chicken manure. Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't really poo-poo that idea, but, you know, I'm all for it, except that... So there you have it, guys. These young gentlemen, instructors from the college of two at that farm, and they're giving him advice. And you can hear Boss Hogg being humbled and saying, well, I, I knew this and I didn't know that. And uh, yeah, I'll take this on board and I'll take that on board. He didn't really want to accept what they were saying. He wanted to be the alpha male, the farmer. The two young interns that went to work there went there to gain knowledge. 
and them instructors have gone down to the Bohovel, the Bohovel farm, uh, to see how they're getting on. And quite obviously, they're not learning anything. These instructors are now educating Boss Og, and he doesn't like it. Listen to this next clip. Well, I guess we could harvest them. Uh, some really good suggestions. So anything that I haven't covered, uh, this, if you could give me your thoughts, I would appreciate it very much. Either one of you. Jump in. They're being, they're, they're being, uh, they're, they're being shy. Uh, it, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a, uh, it's just respect is all it is. So tomatoes should not be near the okra because uh, avoid company avoid, from tin because oh. they are different uh, characteristics. Not, for example, the tomato is not. Uh, it's just not compatible. Uh, compatible so with the like okra. That, like mm. And they're both susceptible to blight. Oh, yeah, yeah? yeah. So they can share it. They can share yeah, yeah, Back yeah, and forth. Yeah. yeah. So keep the okra away from the uh, tomato plants. Uh, any other examples? so anything in the night we call it nightshade uh, nightshade anything in the nightshade family keep separated by how much three meters five meters ten meters a kilometer so there you have it guys in them two clips there um boss hog uh, was asking them for any suggestions and uh, th th these two instructors weren't very forthcoming uh, i'm sure you noticed that and he interpreted that as well it, 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 filipinos are like that they're, they're, it's a respect thing yeah it's a respect thing brian because those two instructors are stood there and they're absolutely gobsmacked that you've laid out that farm in the way you've done. They know that you are a failure and they don't want to tell you that. In the second clip, guys, he pushed them further um, for instructions on where to plant things and how to keep things separated. Now, the young gentleman... Uh, try to tell him that uh, certain uh, vegetables shouldn't be grown next to each other they should be kept apart um, and boss hog by this time was getting a bit irritated and if you heard him say well how far do we keep them apart two foot three foot a hundred yards or a kilometer the alpha meal was humiliated these Two instructors are stood there and I'm quite sure in their heads they would have thought let's get a bulldozer in, bulldoze the whole lot and start again. But guys, uh, we like to save the best to last. So listen to this next clip. We need a day to convert your farm into a learning site. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I am humbled uh, by that, uh, that the, the Department of Agriculture would, in any crazy dream, uh, want to use my farm as uh, an example, uh, as a training site. Um, I, I'm quite sure that it will be more like, here's, here's what you need to do, Mr. Foreigner, here's how you do it, and uh, then we can show the results of that right yeah uh. so in that clip guys he says i'm humbled he's humbled that um, the uh, agricultural college uh, would consider using the bohovel uh, as a training uh, center and an example 
Well, Brian, your words and definitely our conclusion. Uh, your Bohovel farm would be uh, an example to all of how not to farm. Guys, you heard the, uh, the clips, you've heard Bothog's words. Um, short of saying he's failed, uh, the guys were respectful uh, and kept their opinions to themselves. But here we have a man up on the screen who uh, professes to go to the Philippines and be a farmer. And he did say a couple of weeks ago, uh, in six to eight weeks, the production farm will be up and running and making profit. And here we have a uh, farm tour by the instructors telling Boss Hogg that his farm is a failure. It's been laid out wrong. Uh, guys, if you were to go across and watch the old video, which um, would take some doing, you would see that uh, the tomatoes need to be pulled out. Uh, okra needs to be moved. So that's going to be pulled out. It's an absolute mess. He told everyone. He knew what he was doing. And Boss Hog has been humiliated. You can hear it in his voice. He's annoyed. Guys, what can we say? A foreigner farming in the Philippines. The e-begging scumbag who makes out he is a successful businessman. A successful YouTuber. Is he humiliated by a mere Filipino instructor? Till the next time, guys. Uh, bye for now.